Welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza 0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and as Kiryu is so helpfully reminding us, we need to figure out where Tachibana Real Estate has uh, bought out a business. Spent some time looking at this map, but uh, so far none of the businesses I've moused over, I say moused over, but you know what I mean, uh, just jump out at me as being, hey, this is clearly where uh, you need to go. You know, I am all for showing off all of the features of a... Uh, a game, but I have absolutely no idea how to play Mahjong. <laughs> I passed over that earlier. I thought it said Sushi Gun. Uh. Tachibana Drugs, an obviously uh, corrupt drugstore. Oh, gee, I guess I'll head there. I've been there. Shit. And there's no, like, icons indicating that stuff might happen if I go to a specific area. Including uh, the one on our friend here in the parking lot. Lacking any better ideas, I picked a one at random, purely because I liked the name, and now I'm heading over in the general direction of uh, a bar called Vincent. I wonder if that screen vibrated because, uh... I guess he was shouting. Sorry. It's a weird day. I apologize if uh, I'm a bit off for the next couple of videos. I remember the math, that's like $20,000, I think. So it doesn't make any sense that you'd find 100,000 or million uh, yen vending machines, but whatever. Clearly, she's being seduced by Dracula. That's the uh, biggest danger of naming your daughter Mina, of course. The cigarette machine has Raiden written on it. Since Mortal Kombat is still a few years off, and uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 didn't come out until, like, 
shit, was that like 2001? Uh, all I can think of is, uh, a top-down shooter. I mean, okay, it's definitely not a reference to that. It's probably a reference to, uh, the actual mythological god of lightning. But, you know, that's not as silly as assuming it's a video game reference on a cigarette machine. Okay, it's 88, so she's not secretly, like, doing a webcam show. Mmm. Mmm, that's a lot of Yenery do. I can understand your concern. Oh yeah, that's also a point. Didn't even think of that, my bad. I mean, that's super creepy, but, you know, I'm a video game protagonist, so sure, why not? Nani? I really need to find out what Nani means. Okay, since this is Yakuza, that can't be the most obvious option, so... She's secretly trying to get a career started as one of those Japanese idols that sing music and wear costumes and everyone loves them. That's my theory. I never mentioned it before, but I like that uh, uh, the necklace that Kiryu is wearing. Very simple and understated, but classy. Uh. I mean, if it was me, I would have put, like, a dragon pendant on it or something like that. But, uh, yeah, very classy. I suppose with the tattoo, he thinks it would be redundant. Isn't Senrio the company that makes uh, Hello Kitty stuff? Except, like, with an I instead of an, a Y? Okay, so I'm not going to get anything else from talking to him again. I actually don't know where I'm going. That's right, it's stick d uh, up to go out. The confusion I find in video games with camera controls always seems to be that games cannot seem to universally decide whether up means move the camera up or uh, push the camera in forward. Because, you know, up could mean both of those things. Similarly, uh, when you hit left and right with a, you know, in a third-person camera, do you want the camera to rotate to the left? Or do you want it to show you what's on your left? And I did those in the opposite order, but you know what I mean. Nice bike. The game seems to... Oh, no, no. Thought it automatically blurred out the, uh... Oh, that would be an, an interesting idea for a game, where all of the pedestrians have, like, blurred out faces as though it's a, a documentary and you didn't get the rights to all of their likenesses. And is that a thing? What is that? That's not a very good angle at all. Oh. All right. Screw it, I'm just going to assume that it is a, uh... 
Another one of those weird manga magazines that we found a whole shitload of in that one store. Okay, found it. Senrio Avenue is over here. That wasn't a case of me, like, cutting out five minutes of me looking at the map or anything. That was, uh, just a case of, you know what, since I have to put in a jump cut anyway, let's take the opportunity to find the thing before we continue. I, uh, didn't notice this when I was looking at the map earlier. How embarrassing. Here's a distraction. Hey, look, the empty lot is on the map. That's a really good idea, now that you mention it. Let's not go sightseeing. Yakiro. No, oh, that wasn't saying one word with, you know, weird gaps. That was missing most of the syllables in the phrase. The usual, cover me in shaving cream and slap my face and call me, uh, Diana. Damn, I was hoping that would be, like... What an ordeal. All over a game, too. Glad Akio got his Ara Q3 back. I hope he gets to play it with his dad. It wasn't easy teaching a band how to act like hardcore hooligans. I think they might have what it takes to make it big. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers! I saw a strange deal go down in Komuro shopping area. Who was that mysterious man? Maybe I'll talk to him. But, uh, I kind of want to know the other thing first. I seem to run into a dead end. So, I will head off in... in this direction. I wonder what that means. Oh, oh fuck off. Mm. Right, you can't block from behind, I knew that. Bicycle, bicycle, I want to hit you with my bike, I want to... <laughs> Ooh. I needed that. Beat the shit out of a whole bunch of dudes. Well, it's not a whole bunch of dudes. What? What? Worth 205 times 1,845 yen, gram of gold. What does that mean? Excuse me. It was down here. I'm never going to find these guys if I don't. Please don't lead me to, like, a story thing. Aha! Weird how they were all murdered. To think I was so close and I was helping the Silvers. Thank you! 
I mean, yes, I am going in the opposite direction to Theater Square. Oh, fuck you. And we're running. Did I? Or do you just suck? It's definitely saved the game now that I uh, know that information. Rad. I don't think you're supposed to put your uh, hazard lights on just when you're sitting by the side of the road. You can't just park, I, I think. The dude in the boots looked like a fight man, so I was walking. Turns out she's the apprentice of Mr. Shakedown. You know, because it's this game, I feel the need to add the disclaimer that I don't know that. <laughs> Just in case. Boy. This music gets repeated a lot, but I kind of like it. Oh no. Does it just mean what? Like a confused uh, exclamation? I could see that. Mm. I don't actually know how old Kiryu is here. This is definitely not about sex. Unless she's talking about, like, railing you the strap on? I don't think so. Or physically, that could also work. <sighs> Great, now I sound like a pervert. <laughs> Fucking cowgirl style. Am I gonna have to cut this out of the video? No, I'm just messing with you. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Kiryu. Oh, top or bottom? She wanted to know if he wanted to buy her bra or her panties. Oh, God. Oh, Kiryu, you sweet summer child. Huh? I'm not judging.
<laughs> That's one way of putting it. Yeah. Nani. That's why she's always buying lingerie, because she's always running out of underwear. Oh, man. And she just kind of did, didn't she? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. I thought he was going too far there, but now, now that you say that, hmm. Mm. God, can you imagine saying that phrase to someone? Making it worse. Uh. Oh god. Huh? Okay, point. I didn't consider that. Fine. It's like the bluntest one possible. Yeah, I think they could have worded that option better in the selection thing. As opposed to, I just thought it was, I demand that you admit you're selling your underwear. Which is not a sentence I ever thought I would say out loud. I mean, you're not wrong. Us. Mm. So there's an Underwear selling pimp? Eh? 
Crucera ring. Uh, what an episode. Before I get into that, let's just end it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Yakuza Zero. When we, uh, look into this absurd storyline. Later.